is up everybody it's Josh and welcome to a brand new journey and welcome to another video today we are here at Bush Gardens Tampa to literally talk everything hollow scream when you guys are watching this there's literally only two days until opening night for hollow scream here at Bush Gardens Tampa I'm super super excited that means haunt season is just really beginning like we had Halloween Horror Nights this past weekend but now we have another haunt opening so it's just really becoming spooky season um, in this video we are really just going to hit the baselines of everything you guys need to know about hollow scream all the houses that have been announced all the scare zones shows and possible food options if there is any on the website really that's it we're just gonna talk everything hollow scream so with that being said if you guys are ready to go on this spooky informational filled video well let's go alrighty so let's actually stop by the gift shop here and check out the all-new merchandise for hollow scream it looks like this year the theme of this area is the rotting pig speakeasy it's interesting but let's take a look at the hollow scream shirt for this year looks like it is the house shirt so it has all the houses on it and you can get this shirt for $36.99. That's crazy. I think these have gone up a lot. This doesn't even include the surcharge that they do now here. So that's that's crazy. Man, you can go to Halloween Horror Nights and get a Halloween Horror Nights themed shirt for like 30 bucks or 32 bucks. That's crazy. But it is a nice shirt. And we got these weird guys up here just guarding the, the merchandise in the back of the truck. Looks like they have bucket hats this year. This is really cool, actually. $32.99, dang. Man, this stuff seems really, really expensive this year. Yeah, $20 for this glass. Looks just like the cup. $10, okay, that's not bad because I think it's $10 for one or even $12 for one at Halloween Horror Nights. Little notebook, dead inside. Twenty-five dollars for a notebook? This thing better have gold shavings in the paper. And then we have just a skull logo, hollow scream shirt, nothing on the back. This will run you because it's really expensive, so they have no pricing on them. That's cool. Oh, here's a glow in the dark. No fears. Just be afraid. Hollow scream on the back. These ones also have, oh no, $30 for this shirt. Okay, that's not terrible. Actual like jerseys for hollow scream this year. Skull on the side, 31 for Halloween on the back. I really do like it. The red, black with the white. Indeed hollers. Dang, man. Rem you know, remember, this stuff, like the pricing doesn't even include the surcharge that they do anymore. Uh, you got an ornament, coffin ornament, $12. Scarlet's letters, it's cereal, or is it a shirt? It's a shirt, okay. $40 just to get this basic hollow scream shirt. It's insane. Let's take a walk into the speakeasy, see what they have in here. Right as I walk in, they have a Fiends shirt, which is crazy to me, um, because Fiends isn't a thing anymore. Unless they're going to have shot girls this year, like they re return, and they're going to be the nurses, but... Hmm. With little syringes on the side, hollow scream. $32.99. So not terrible, but if it's like an older shirt, I don't know why they're selling it for that much. It's kind of crazy to me. Get in, loser, we're going haunting. Alright, I actually like that shirt. Anything on the back? Nope. So it's like this cool like tie-dye shirt with this on it. Um, I like it. It's really, really nice. And this one is $34.99. No? Hey, Mrs. Piggy. Oh. oh this is gross. <laughs> Look at that. Jerseys again, hollow scream. What's on the back? Oh, it's the, the phases of the moon and then the eye. I saw this one last year. Uh, $85. Was it $85 last year? This crop top hoodie, hollow scream, 
anything on the back just some spiders it is a hoodie like I said crop top um, I guess sweatshirt long sleeve bats I think it's like a purple $46 man oh man how much for a how much for a, a, a cup $20 for this okay that's pretty basic so. And then here is their new bag for this year. Lounge Looks fly. really cool. Oh, it is a lounge fly. Okay, mm -hmm. that's really, really cool. Yeah, How much this, is that one going this for? This one is $89.99. I like it so much. That's super cool. And your bag. Guys, Bush Gardens has lounge flies this year. That's so cool. I like that. It's about time they gave them. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> that's so cool. I really, really like that. Yeah, Thank you. You're you welcome. Thank they also have this bag this year. It's literally shaped like a skull. It's really cool. I like $74.99 for that bag. I like it. They also have these black long sleeves with like paint splatter all over them. Um, hollow scream on the back. I like that. I think this one will be $75. So the Spirit Jersey brand and Loungefly have seemed to come to Bush Gardens a lot quicker than I expected. But they also have these matching like yoga. Leggings, I would say. $40 for these. Then they have t-shirts and a paint can for 40, oh my, wait, how many, how many do I get? So it's a collector's tee, but it's $43, is it one t-shirt? So, just because it's a collector's tee, you get one t-shirt and it's $40. $3 just so you can get it in a fake paint can. So we are actually standing in front of our very first scare zone for Hollow Scream 2023. And you guys may recognize this scare zone because it is a returning scare zone to this year's event. And that scare zone is the junkyard. You'll find more than spare parts as you rummage through the Shirley scrap site. Will you make it out in one piece or be devoured by the haunted rubble? Now, I really do enjoy the junkyard because it is a very unique and cool scare zone. It really brings Hollow Scream's past to the present. Like, I haven't been doing Hollow Scream very long. Um, I just started coming in 2016, I believe. 2016, 2018. So a lot of the stuff that I get to see in here is really from Hollow Scream history. Um, this was a scare zone that actually was brought to us in 2020 when the pandemic hit. And this was considered their one outdoor haunted house walkthrough type thing. It was in the queue of where Motel Hell was. And it was a really, really unique scare zone, like I said. Um, but I'm excited to see it come back. I don't want it here forever, I don't think. But that's our first scare zone on the lineup. Let's keep moving on. We are right outside of the entrance to Guazi, and it looks like they are putting up a beverage booth here for Hollow Scream. It looks like it's just gonna have Cokes, Powerades, water, and possibly beer on top. Could be under that area there. Oh yeah, because there's a grate right there. So this will be an alcohol booth or beverage booth. It looks like we also will be having the return of Bush Garden Spooktacular, which is happening Saturdays and Sundays, September 8th through October 31st, which is including Monday, October 30th, and Tuesday, October 31st. So I've never actually done this before because it is for kids, but I might just have to check it out this year because it looks really, really cool just from what I can see. Like there is candy corn on top of those buildings back there. There are bats in the air. This is really, really cool. Alrighty, so future Josh here. For some reason, while I was literally right there at the start of Gwazi Field, I did not talk about these two things that will be coming to that area. So the first thing is the new show that is taking over our beloved Fiend show, which is called Rock the Grave. Explosive, high-energy, live stage show that merges the worlds of alternative and classic rock and pop hits into an unforgettable experience. And this will be located, like I said, in Guazi Field, right on the Guazi stage. It's a new show, that's all I'm gonna say. It's a new show. 
I wish we would have gotten another comedy show or something a little more risque. Like, I don't know. It, it, it's, it's a singing show. In the same field, under the pavilion right next to the stage, we are getting a all new experience called Scaryoke. Take your turn behind the mic at the all new Scaryoke experience at Guazi Plaza. Guests can select their song of choice and take a memorable photo of their experience. Yay, I get to sing karaoke at hollow scream next so i actually thought i knew what was going on here at the coke pavilion but i am totally wrong what i thought was going to be here is actually over at the guazi pavilion so i don't actually know what's going on here but they did really deck it out for something so we're actually just a little bit to the left of the coke pavilion we are here in the garden area and if you guys know this from Hollow Scream Past. This is the entrance to the returning house, Witch of the Woods. Now, as you guys know, I've told you in previous videos, I really do enjoy this house. I would love to see some different stuff coming to this house, but with the description, it kind of seems like it's the same thing, but that doesn't mean there can't be different types of scares in here. That doesn't mean they didn't add animatronics somewhere. That doesn't mean they didn't add, you know, fog effects somewhere. So I'm really excited to see this house. This will probably be the house that I start at. Garden seems pretty prepared for opening day on Friday. They have all these stanchions up ready to go. Like this is gonna be the queue line for Witch of the Woods. So they're ready. They're ready for a busy, busy crowd on opening day. Alrighty, so we are walking just alongside Sesame Street into our next scare zone for this year's event. This one is also returning and this scare zone is beyond the veil. Dark fairies and orcs are dying for you to experience the depths of their magical, sinister forest. Think you have what it takes to go beyond the veil? It looks like we will be getting a bungee scare once again in this zone. I hope it works out this year because they didn't use it a lot last year, but I am excited to see it. Actually, as we turn the corner just a little bit here, it looks like we're going to have another bungee. So we're going to have two bungees in this zone. I'm excited. I'm really excited now. Because when they did um, in the shadows, they only had one bungee and it hardly worked in this zone. So I'm kind of excited to see how well they can do with this this year. Now I will say, I really am excited for this zone because I enjoyed it last year, but it, just the spot it was in, it was way too small. Like it just didn't work. So with it being in this open area, this pathway, I think it'll work so much better. I mean, they even reused the trees from Deathwater Bayou to be able to just really immerse us into this zone. So I'm excited to see it. So we are walking up to our next scare zone for this year's event, which is another returning scare zone, Raven's Mill. Raven's Mill. Within the walls of the cornfield lies a horrific nightmare you can't awaken. The scarecrows of Raven Mill are ready for you. I just love the aesthetics in here. Like, seeing all the pumpkins everywhere, I love it. I cannot wait to see this all lit up and everything. It's gonna be really cool. Oh, look, the corn. This is why we have all these hurricanes, bush gardens. This is so cool. This is bigger this year? Did they like add more boxes? Cause I feel like there is no open space this year. Like, I feel like this was a little more open last year. I don't know, but it's really, really cool. So I cannot wait for this zone. So it does seem like Bush Gardens is just gonna keep repeating things over and over and only bring like one new thing at a time, except for shows. seems like they can bring a new show pretty much whenever they want. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm excited to see the return of this zone. I just wish there was more new stuff happening every year. And it's just, it's not, they're getting rid of things and not adding things. 
Alrighty, so we are here right outside of Tigris for our next house location. This is yet another returning house for this year, but it seems to have a little bit of a twist on it. This is the Forgotten Uprising. for this house because it is a really good and detailed house however are they going to make it less like sexual Does that makes sense like it seemed like we were in like a sex dungeon last year all the leather the whips chains just everything going on in the house seemed a little too much but I'm excited to see this house return let's see what they can do this year to impress me alrighty guys we're here in front of the Stanleyville theater this will be our first piece of entertainment coming to Hall of Scream this year. This is a returning show, but I love this show so much that it doesn't matter to me that it's returning. I just hope it's new in some sense. This show is Cirque Extreme. Cirque Extreme, electrifying and memorizing stunt show that will leave you on the edge of your seat. Now, like I said, I really do enjoy Cirque Extreme, but I would love to see some different elements this year. I'd love to see it switched up a little bit. Like, Cirque Electric was great this year. It switched up just a little bit with the axe, but it was still kind of the same fast-paced show that everybody loves. So, I can't wait for Cirque X Scream. Alrighty, so we are over here by the Stanley Flume, and it looks like they will be having a returning bar here. I remember last year, and I believe the year before this, was like the Blood Bar, which went with the Forgotten. I wonder if it'll be the same theme not too sure, but it looks like there will be a bunch of different options for drinks from soda to beer on draft, possibly some food, bottled beer, and there's just, there's going to be a lot of stuff. So let's hope the lines can stay down and not be as crazy as some other haunts. Now I do have to say Bush Gardens kind of went a little crazy with decorating this year because they put headstones for the graveyard all the way down here in this area where really nobody's going to be able to pay attention much because it's all the way back here and people are going to be walking over there so just the attention to detail i do have to give to bush gardens and with that we have come up to our next scare zone which is also a returning scare zone but in a kind of new location this scare zone is the shortcut the shortcut. Cutting through the cemetery may seem like an easy way out, except when the corpses rise from the ground, only to drag you back into their graves with them. Now the reason I kind of say a new-ish location, because if you remember back in 2020 when we had all outdoor stuff, the scare zone, the shortcut, was actually just right through those green gates there and went literally through the shortcut of the park. But this year... I don't know, they kind of jammed it in this little area just a little too much, I think. I don't know how well it's going to work, but I'm excited to see the zone because it's a really cool and somewhat detailed zone. I don't know, like I said, it's a cool zone, but I think they just crammed it in the wrong spot. This is like having a zone over by Penguin Point. It just doesn't really work. This area is just too small for anything to actually happen properly here. So who knows? We'll just have to wait and see. And so here we are in Jungala. We are looking at our very first super dead zone for Hollow Scream. It's going to be insane because this is such an open area and it's literally going to have nothing. So. I was correct about what I said, but this is going to suck. This area is too big to leave empty. Like it even leads up into here past Chick-fil-A where there's nothing. Normally the scare zone starts here and ends over here and there's nothing. There's nothing. Alrighty, so now we are standing in the area of the U Banga Banga bumper cars. This year, you won't be trying to drive away from zombies. You won't be trying to drive away from clowns. You'll be trying to drive away from Big Ed and 
his minions. Step into the twisted and adrenaline-fueled world of Big Ed's Demolition Derby. He has pulled together some of the roughest, toughest, and meanest baddies from all of Hollow Scream and brought them here to compete. But there's always room for some surprise guests. Step up and see how long you can survive and navigate this automotive nightmare. Super excited because, like I said, this is a brand new twist on something they've done before but i think this is gonna work better it's demolition derby it's bumper cars it makes sense but also reading into it kind of looking into it it looks like it could fit in with the junkyard a lot so i really am excited for this at first if you watched my very first video when we were talking about things i wasn't really excited i wasn't a fan i was like oh we're doing bumper cars but we're gonna call it demolition derby i mean cool but i am actually thoroughly excited to see how this does this year and i'm gonna do it on friday for sure Alrighty, so we are here right next to the pantopia theater this is the location for our next house which is also a returning house from last year this is residence home for the holidays Even not in your knife. <laughs> now, as you guys know, I love the residence. I was the first ever cast to be put inside residence when it first ever opened, when it was just the residence, not the holiday layover. I love seeing that this turned into a holiday type house. I did a walkthrough a few weeks ago, actually about a month ago, of residence with the lights on, but there was scare actors in there, all the lights were on, everything was working. We were literally getting scared in the house. So with being able to see it early like that, I am super excited to walk through it in full swing when everybody is ready for Hollow Scream. Now, Pantopia is another part of the park that I am scared is going to be way too empty for Hollow Scream this year, and I just don't know how I feel about it. I mean, they have all this construction going on, so I kind of understand. But man, this is such a huge area. They used to have roaming hordes around here. They used to do Manic Midway here. They did Deadly Toys at one point. I just don't know how I feel. I really want something to happen in this area. Alrighty, so we are in Dragonfire Grill to talk about our next announcement for Hollow Scream 2023. This is another show coming to this year's event, and that show is the Rolling Bones. The Rolling Bones. The skeleton band lights up Dragonfire Grill with epic covers of classic rock anthems. Now, if you guys don't know anything about the Rolling Bones, you are missing out. This is a cover band group that turned Halloween into rock and roll, and it's awesome. And it's a perfect place for it to be. You literally can come in here, get some AC, get some food, and listen to some amazing entertainment. Now, this show isn't one of those where I will tell you, oh, well, if you need air conditioning or if you need something to eat, it's good to listen to while you do that. No, you have to watch this show. You have to. Like, if you're here for one night of Hall Scream or if you're here for three nights of Hall Scream, you need to put it on your list of things to do. It is such an amazing show. I'm so glad it's coming back this year. I can't wait to see it. And I don't even need them to change anything up because it's such an awesome and unique show. So this whole area as well looks like it will be empty for Hollow Scream this year, unless they have some horde. But normally hordes are announced for Hollow Scream, and this year they haven't announced anything. So from Pantopia to right up here to the Nairobi train station, it's completely empty. The only thing saving it from being completely empty is the residence. Now here is our next empty area for Hollow Scream this year. Now, if you guys know, at one point this was the Voodoo Scare Zone and it also was the Shortcut Scare Zone. 
for some reason this year they decided they were just going to have so many holes at the park that their whole nowhere to hide slogan doesn't really work this is the only thing up in this zone and this zone was actually supposed to be the voodoo scare zone returning for this year and they decided to cut it which i talked about in a video that i had to later take down like i just do not understand why there will be so many empty spots for hollow scream this year like where did all your guys's money go that you're having to make all these budget cuts and cut certain things I mean, you're bringing in these people that are helping with your travel plans, but you can't bring more stuff to your event. So we are now walking through Penguin Point, which is our next scare zone, which is a brand new zone for this year called Sin City Zombies. Sin City Zombies. On the outskirts of the Vegas Strip lies a small motel that is home to some of the best entertainers to ever live and is overrun by zombies who run rampant. Try your luck and hope your number wins because this is one town you don't want to lose in. Well, this looks like this could be a airplane? A crashed airplane? A crashed subway train? I don't know. I was gonna say a car, but then I started to look back here and it's really like long. I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. Then we have a phone booth here and then we just have some more buildings and They've actually put up this sign that says motel. So this building is supposed to be a motel on the strip. Um, it looks okay. There's not a lot going on. They would need to fill this place with scare actors galore if they want it to work. That's just my opinion. Because this area, like I said, is just really small. And they don't really go crazy with trying to make it look good. In my opinion, we have some fencing up here, which probably has some gory stuff that they can't show during the day. We have some busted light poles, power poles. So, I mean, it looks decent. I'll give them that. It looks decent. I hope the motel sign lights up. I don't know. If I'm being honest with you guys, I never was excited about this scare zone at all, not even once. When they announced it, I thought it was cheesy, not gonna be good. I just think it was like a last minute decision type thing. I don't think it's gonna work out in that area at all whatsoever. Um, I hope they can prove me wrong. I'll just have to wait and see on Friday when they're scare actors, the lights are on. You know, maybe there's some fog in that area, but still, as of right now, I am not looking forward to that zone whatsoever. Alrighty, so we are right here at our last two final house that will be coming to this year's Hollow Scream event. And this house is a returning house for this year, but I love this house. The only thing it was missing was some scare actors. But other than that, this is a beautiful house. I'm glad it's returning. And this house is Stranglewood Estate. Now, like I said, I am really, really excited that this house is returning because I want to give it another chance. Last year, I walked through it and walked through it and walked through it and it just was dead. I don't know, actually, I do know. They had casting issues last year and it looks like they may have some this year as well. But I hope they're able to fix it before they open just in two days. I do not want to go through this house and see multiple holes. A single hole is okay because you can't even get away with that even at Halloween Horror Nights. You're gonna have some holes, but I don't want to go through a house where there's only two scare actors. Absolutely not. So I'm excited for this return. Just hope they can fix those things. Let's move on to our last house and then get back to the studio to talk about all of my thoughts and everything about Hollow Scream this year. So we are outside of the location for our last house that will be coming to this year's Hollow Screen event. This location is just right across from Coaster Coffee Co. And now if you guys know, this has been the entrance to a house known as Death Water Bayou for the past seven plus years. But this year, the bayou has been 
transformed into a circus and the circus has come to town with this all new house all new experience known as D.H. Bagum's Circus of Fear. So, with looking into the trailer or commercial for D.H. Bagums and really looking into it, and now that I've been to Halloween Horror Nights three nights in a row and got to go through Oddfellow's Twisted Origins, they really kind of seem like they're going to be a similar type house. And by similar, I mean just the storyline or the grand scheme of things. I'm not saying it's a copycat house. I'm saying if you've been to Halloween Horror Nights and did Oddfellows and you come here to do D.H. Bagums, it may be pretty close in storyline. So, you know, it's it's a carnival. It's You got your carnies. You, you kind of tell the story of how you started. I'm excited. I've never done a clown house here at Busch Gardens. The last house that I believe they had was Circus of Superstition, and that was a 3D house. Never got to do that. So really, overall, I'm excited for this house. I just don't know if it's going to be my favorite. Um, but with that being said, let's head back to the studio to finish off the video, give my full thoughts on everything. Alrighty, so we are back home in the studio. Let's talk everything Hollow Scream. Let's break everything down from shows to houses to scare zones and all of that. But first, I would like to say that everything I said in the very beginning was all true. Everything from the very beginning was true. So, as some of you know, and some of you have asked me, I posted a video a few months ago. Actually, j just like a month ago. Um, and it kind of disappeared off my page. That's because I was asked to take it down by Bush Garden because of false information. So they falsely accused me of putting false information online when none of it was false. We have no voodoo. We have no skeleton crew. We had no hordes announced. So I was pretty spot on with that. So yeah, the video is going to be back up on my page. You guys can watch it. You guys can uh, give me your thoughts on it. I'm just clearing it up. Nothing that I said was false at all. I don't ever give you guys false information ever. I either give you opinions or I give you things I know. Also with that, you guys may never see me at media events ever again. If, if I'm at a media event, it's, it's going to be very rare because I'm starting to get more truthful and more transparent with you guys. You know, I only want to tell you the truth and if that is what's keeping me from ever getting a media invite again, that's fine because I'm not going to lie to you guys just to get into somewhere for free. Never, never am I doing that. So, Hollow Scream 2023. Five houses, six scare zones, three shows, and one extra experience. Four of the five houses are returning with all new experiences and scares. I don't really know what that means because it is the same storyline in the same house so if you just add an animatronic somewhere does it really change i hope they prove me wrong i'm still excited to go to the event i just wanted more new things like i feel like every year i'm just going to the same event over and over and it doesn't change so i would love to see it change hopefully next year or if they did change stuff this year i would like for them to prove me wrong and show me that they actually changed things now four of these six scare zones are all returning as well with two new scare zones returning with new elements new experience Experiences, new scares whatever that means that's what they're titling most of them as it's still the same thing we're literally going to the same event we went to last year just some stuff is completely butchered and out of the way and then other things are just moved around with new experiences and new scares now the shows I'm really excited for some of the shows not all the shows not even excited for the extra experience at all whatsoever so show I'm excited for that is returning is Cirque Extreme as you guys know it's kind of like Circle electric but horror themed it's really cool i enjoy it it's going to be in the stanleyville theater i think they could do a lot with it now would i love to see some elements of that being changed absolutely i don't want to see the same show but it's not a bad show um next is rolling bones as you guys heard i enjoy the show i don't think anything needs to be changed i wish they would put them on the main stage in guazi field but we may never get that now the new show that is in guazi field that has taken over our beloved show fiends is called rock the grave 
I don't know how to feel about it. <sighs> they either needed to leave fiends alone or they needed to give us something a little more, I think, adult-like, to be honest. I don't want a singing show. I don't want a show that I could get during the day at Bush Gardens. I want a show that I can only get at Hollow Screen. Here's our exclusive extra whatever. It's called Scaryoke. So it is karaoke while you're drunk at Hollow Screen is what it seems like. So while I'm trying to enjoy my night, I get to hear all these drunk people try to sing and bash my ears and because they're just screaming. I'm not saying not everybody can sing or doesn't have a talent, but you know when these drunk people go up there, they're just gonna start yelling. I don't know how well this is gonna work. I wish they would have put this money into something else around the park, like more scare zones, more more hordes, paying the employees a little more than what they're getting paid. Um, just something other than karaoke. Something I can go do at Applebee's down the road at midnight. But honestly, that's my hot take. It all sounds the same that's because it is i really want to be excited for this event but i just don't know if i can or if i ever will be excited for this event this year i hope they can change my mind come friday night when i go i hope i'm completely wrong about all the videos i've been making and i look like a total jerk i really do i want this event to be crazy i mean it just don't look good this year like this has nothing to do with the scare actors the creative team nothing this is upper management y'all need to hear this it doesn't look good this year at all whatsoever there's so many dead spaces that your slogan nowhere to hide doesn't work anymore i found a bunch of places i could just sit and have no scare actors so like i said let's hope they change my mind on friday let's hope i can have an awesome time but with that being said if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you smash that thumbs up button don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and guys like always i'll see you on the next journey peace